Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Motorsport. Now the car XP and level system seems to have gone down like an absolute lead balloon when it comes to Forza Motorsport and I fully agree and agree with every single criticism that people seem to have directed towards this. For me just the individual levels on cars is just a little bit overkill and seems to artificially inflate the grind. Now it would make more sense for it to be tied to a manufacturer than an overall individual car and that's kind of made worse by let's say you want to get a duplicate and do say a track and a drift build for a car those individual cars even if they are the same model will have to be leveled up separately meaning that every single time you buy a new car you're going to have to spend two and a half to three hours just leveling up that one single vehicle and well with over 500 vehicles in game this just seems well a little bit too much so in this video I'm actually going to show you a quick way to do a bit of AFK leveling meaning that you can sort of take the work out of it and this does seem to be the best way if you're actually planning on leveling up as many cars as possible. The main reason is you can just essentially rinse and repeat this and just do this in the background even if you're not playing you just essentially leave your Xbox or PC on. Now I'm going to show you how to do it using the Xbox version first. I was actually made aware of the AFK method by Moto Games TV on his Twitter and I'll uh, go ahead and link that Twitter down below so a big thanks to him for actually making me aware of this method. So there's a few things you want to do before you actually start uh, if you kind of have the default settings on your Xbox and you just go ahead and let the game idle it's actually going to bring a message up every 15 minutes if you've not pressed a button. There's a way around this though go to your Xbox settings go to preferences idle off and uncheck the show things when idle this will get rid of that however there is another way to also kind of counteract this which actually involves bringing up the telemetry uh, which i'll talk about a little bit later on so to get the afk method working you want to head over to the settings and go to driving assist now what you want is to copy these settings have your braking fully assisted your throttle assisted and your steering fully assisted as well as automatic shifting ensure that all of those are on and the car will literally just go ahead and drive itself at a much slower pace than usual but it still does the job so I'm going to show you a few different ways to actually run the AFK method. One is using rivals and one is using sort of the, um, I guess, free play mode uh, where you're running a whole circuit with zero AI on. Now, in terms of the rivals one, it's completely up to you which one you want to do. It doesn't seem to make too much of a difference really on the track you're on. The main thing you want to be aiming for is a track with a couple of sectors because you will get the bonus XP as you kind of go for it. Now, I'm going to use Indianapolis just to kind Kind of showcase quickly what the rivals mode looks like when the game's actually afk leveling and go in and explain the whole telemetry situation okay so i've loaded in rivals here as you can see we're just about to start the event and the car's going to begin driving itself with zero problems at all it's going to be a bit wonky at first and sort of take itself off to the side but this is fairly normal now usually at this point you need to be doing this as follows press down on the d-pad bring up the telemetry and head over to friction now once you've got it on this screen you can literally leave the game running there is no need to actually go ahead and begin to press x or the handbrake or whatever button you've got it assigned to you can literally just leave the game running in the background without actually having to press a button and this is sort of the workaround so once you've done the options in the controller settings of your xbox bring up the telemetry head over to friction and you can literally leave it for as long as possible now the time it takes to fully level a car is going to be around about two and a half hours maybe a little bit more again it doesn't seem to really make a difference on what track you're on or really what kind of car you're running a faster car won't necessarily level up quicker than let's say something that's extremely slow it just seems to be sort of a base xp level um, again the good thing about rivals is that the car especially on simpler tracks isn't going to make too many mistakes it's going to constantly hit these sort of segments and get you a bit of bonus xp each time as well as not having to worry about ai so that is the rivals method to actually run in the afk so I also tried to do a method running the actual AI itself in sort of a full circuit race. The way I did this was just set up a custom race, um, sort of put the maximum amount of AI on and just sort of go to somewhere like Indianapolis. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend doing this 
I did a fairly basic 20 lap event and whilst the XP is relatively similar, the main issue you've got, although you kind of get a bit of bonus XP for overtaking, there's a high chance that your car, when it's in auto drive, will just kind of get stuck behind the AI for lap after lap. Every single time I tried to run this, I was constantly finishing P8 and my AI itself just absolutely refused to overtake the car in front, meaning that you sort of end up with this train and overall it's just going to cost you time. You've got your car constantly slowing down, not actually going ahead and overtaking, meaning that it's sort of costing you quite a bit of time overall. I just wouldn't recommend running it with a grid of AI. There is a way to actually run circuit race though, which is very similar to Rivals. And again, you can sort of set the specific laps, meaning that say you can set 20, 50, 70 laps, then just go ahead and sort of come back uh, once it's over and done with and your car will have leveled up itself without the hassle of AI, as well as still getting those segment bonuses um, for a clean sector. Okay, so let me show you how to set up the uh, circuit specific one. You're going to need to go into advanced event. Once you've done that, you need to copy the uh, settings as follows. So just go ahead and pick a track. Honestly, something like Spa, Le Mans, Indianapolis, they don't really make too much of a difference. Again, just pick a track that you just want running in the background. Put the number of laps quite high, anywhere from sort of 50 to 70. Should basically aim for a max level at a decent length circuit. So something like Spa, I'm going to set it to 50. Now, when you go down to the bottom here, just ensure that you've got your driver tar difficulty set to 6. This will give you a nice little bonus, although they actually won't be any. Turn your driver tars off, so that's at 0. And then you need to head over to the rules section. Ensure you've got club rules on because this sort of gets rid of the need of penalty and then you can just go ahead and start it once again running the AFK method. So once again when you're in you just want to begin at the event you should have all those assists set so that the car will auto drive and once again as soon as it boots up just put the telemetry on and set it to what you need to which is the friction tab and that's literally it you can just let the entire lapse play out come back when it's done and that is it over and done with. Now again, this one takes a little bit more to set up than the likes of Rivals. You do still get the bonus of the segments and stuff like that, um, but again, you can be a lot more specific, meaning that, let's say, I don't know, you're going out for a couple of hours, set it to 50 laps at a longer track, come back and your car should be a fairly decent level. And again, it's gonna auto drive itself along with those settings that I gave you at the beginning and using the telemetry and keeping it on there, your controller should not be popping up that message every 15 minutes or so. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to run the AFK method and just how many different versions you can run of the AFK method to ensure that you're getting the XP um, over time. Again, like I said, I'm personally not a huge fan currently of the car leveling system whilst i think it's great for actually getting you to play the game i think it's just a little bit too overkill the fact that there's you know 500 plus cars and it's two and a half hours to three hours maximum each single car it's just a tiny little bit too much overkill in my opinion and definitely needs to be changed up in a future update and it probably will be considering how the entire method has gone down now I'll update this method if anything changes or if i find anything much quicker than this one again this is just if you want to be lazy and sort of level up cars as you're kind of getting on with your day whether that be working i don't know having some food or maybe you're just out the house for a couple of hours at least this way you are constantly leveling up those cars without the need to be you know rinsing and repeating events over and over again for two and a half hours for each single car so that's going to be it from me today don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe turn your notifications on so you don't miss an upload from me and i will see you in the next one take care guys peace